Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I welcome you back to another episode of Rich Box Poor Box. I'm hoping we can get this done in this episode, but maybe not because we're dealing with two boxes. But please join me, we've had a lot of fun comparing these boxes, and let me know in the comments below which box wins today, okay? Thank you so much for that. As usual, we start with the rich box. I pull some jewelry out of that box and we take a look at it. And then we compare it with what I take out of the poor box. But just to get started, I'll let you know if you see anything you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know the video name, the episode number, the timestamps of when the pieces that you love show up on the video. If you push the pause button on any device, the timestamps will be to your left and the full length of the video will be to the right. So they're pretty easy to find. If you need any help, please email me. I'll be happy to help you. And then please include a brief description of the piece and the price is given. Okay, thank you very much for that. So appreciate all of you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like button it really supports the channel and it lets youtube know that you like the content so if you can't always purchase but you're learning a lot the way that you can support is just by clicking that like button and leaving me a comment you'll be surprised how much it really helps the algorithm on a video so i hope you'll take the time to do that if you like the video and if you want to I would so appreciate it. And besides all of that, I do love to talk to all of you in the comments. So do leave me comments because I just love to hear from you. Okay, out come some items from the Rich Box. Here we go. Maybe I can give you a peek of how much we have left. If I can get it in the camera, I'll try. So we've got like this much left. I don't want to cause a tangle. And I'm trying to see if there's little things on the bottom. There might be, but let me just continue to get some out for today. So you see how maybe, maybe this episode and the next one we'll be able to get through it. And then on to our next venture. And in between, I'll have my, um, you know, my color jewelry bag episodes and the craft jars for sale. Okay, let me get some. I don't want to grab little things on the bottom and then not have both of them. So then they'll just be hanging around. All right, let's get that one. I'm going to put this earring back. not too much. Oh, we've sold some pieces like this. We've sold a necklace. So whoever bought the necklace, you now have your matching bracelet. All right, let's try for that. Oh, I do see a pair of earrings and they do match. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. That looks good. I'm really sure we can do that rest of that box in the next episode but look at these beauties they are probably japan orange crystals oh my goodness look at the brass backing clip-ons they are oldies but goodies oh they're just beautiful okay um what would i say about these I guess I'll say 14 on these. They're in wonderful condition. You just don't find them like that anymore, orange. Okay, so that's our first item. Then we have, looks like an earring. I'm gonna toss it back in the box. A wooden bracelet in a really wild shape. It's in good condition. It's a darker wood. It measures eight inches maybe more like eight and a half eight and a quarter that's kind of funky i'll say two dollars on that piece this looks like another indian jewelry because they tie it 
put these ties right here rather than a clasp. And they have some beautiful glass in their pieces and beautiful beads. So what we might lack in a clasp, we certainly gain in these beads. They are wild looking. There's blue, there's like an aqua blue. They seem to be painted on. Or is that? No, that is the glass. Look at that. It's not paint, it's actual glass. So there you go. I guess it's a roll-on bracelet in some yellows and greens and blues. And I'll say $4 on that. Okay, continuing with Rich Box. Here is a bracelet. I know that the necklace sold already. And I believe this is a glass that's made to look like turquoise. They do a great job. And I do love their beads in between. It's a very pretty bracelet, but again, no stretch and no clasp. It would just roll on. It's a pretty big size. It pro would probably roll on most of us. It's an eight, so you figure a bangle size. So there's your bracelet if you'd like to pick up that piece too, and I'll say five on that. Now, this is a lovely, lovely pearl. Oh, it's graduated too. Look at that giant heart. Who is the maker? Oh, that's so pretty. Come on, have a mark, will you, baby? Mm, almost thought maybe on the class. Maybe there was a hang tag and it's not there anymore. We've had some beautiful pearl necklaces. I'm not sure they've all been, oh, it's marked. It's marked, yay. It is a Carol Lee. Oh, of course. Carol Lee pearls are just stunning. Definitely. And it's, again, graduated glass pearls. I'll show you where it says Carol Lee. Right there on the side. I knew it had to be marked. This is gorgeous. This gold is beautiful. It's heavy. It's such quality. If you know anything about Carol Lee, I don't even have to say another thing. Look at that. Really top, top designer. Beautiful piece. I wonder if you could wear this in the front. Oh yeah, you could. Any way you'd like. There you go. Oh boy. Um, these are nice, nice pieces. I'm gonna say We'll do 55 on the Cara Lee, okay? It's so quality and beautiful and graduated. So, yay, that was fun. Then we have this lovely, very, very thick seed bead necklace. We've had a couple of these in this box and they've gone really well. You guys love them. So lots of wrapped threading around the back. Look at the condition, wonderful. Really pretty, let's say, it ombres into a darker blue, wow. So almost a dusty blue into a periwinkle into almost a purple blue. Oh, that's pretty. That is a beautiful ombre seed pearl necklace. It's quite long. It measures 34 inches. Great shape, the beads are beautiful. I'll say 15 on that piece. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? This looks very different. There has been such a wide variety of pieces in this box that I really can't make sense of it. For the price I paid, I thought, there would be all designer, um, high-end, vintage, and there have been some, absolutely, but lots of other pieces that I, I would never have put in a box that expensive, so, but I'm still very happy, not complaining. This, I don't know, looks like glass in the shape of a T. I am not knowing what this is. I have no idea. It does flash really pretty. Checkerboard, and I don't know. 
It is on a waxy type cord that's in good shape. I don't know, I'm gonna say $2 because I don't know what that is. This is looking Premier Designs to me. Dark metal chain with some oval loops. There is no maker on it. It's in just fine condition, let's see. It's 35, 34 inches long, and I'll say $2 on that piece. This is very beautiful. We have a prong set vintage necklace. I think it's vintage. It has a silver tone chain. Looks like all the stones are there. Does have a chunky little lobster clasp. I don't expect it to be sterling, but I'm just checking. Now let's put it on the buster and see what it looks like. It's a beautiful color. It's a true turquoise color, like like Sleeping Beauty turquoise color. I'm not saying it is turquoise. I'm saying it's that color. They are glass beads. It's very lovely. And the condition is marvelous. There's the back. So if you love this color, this one measures 16 inches. And I'll say $10 on that piece. Okay. Now, I already priced these. Yes, let me put these over here so I don't get confused. Put those up there. All right. This looks like we might have some rock crystal, but it has a blue tint to it. Is Prissy turned on? I'm going to have to put it back on again. Okay, a beautiful rhinestone earring that's going to have to wait for its mate. I'm going to leave the back with it this time because sometimes the backs can be nice. Wow, we had a, um, uh, what do you call it, a Kramer necklace that would look great with these earrings. I don't see any name on them, but they're beautiful, so it's going to wait for its mate. Wait for your mate. You know, you gotta wait for your mate. And on the earring board it goes. So if you're new to my channel, I stick the earrings on a styrofoam board and they wait for their other earring. When I was watching YouTubers unboxing jewelry before I ever did videos, I would always hear them say, we're gonna put that one over there and see if the mate shows up. So I don't know how it happened, but one day I just sang this wait for your mate song and and there it is so silver tone cool mod looking silvery slivery uh, earring on the wait for your mate board now let's see what this is going to test as it is testing in the almost up to quartz not quite I don't know what this would be. It really looks very, very light blue. Oh, now it's going way up there. So I'm going to say quartz. These could be aquamarine chips. You know what they are. It's going right into the middle of the aquamarine. But it depends on the chip that you test. So I'll show you where aquamarine is. It's right see how can I point to it it's right here see where it says it's the third black line up it says aqua right there so if it's in the middle of this black line it could be aquamarine let's see what happens and it's a lot of little chips so sometimes the testing turns out different on each one See how it went right to the middle of that? I wish I could pick up the machine and show you at the same time that I'm doing this. That one slipped off. It definitely has a blue color to it. Yeah, it's going right in the middle of that. Now, I know aquamarine is kind of rare. You can't find it anymore. 
And if I thought it was quartz, it would be going higher. Quartz a lot of times goes up to the jade, but it is quartz. So I really think these are aquamarine chips. I'm not an expert. You would have to check that yourself. But can you see the blue greenish tone in these? They really do look aquamarine to me. Let me know what you think. They test right in that area and they have that color. They may be not heat treated, so they might be in their natural state. And I am gonna have to put that aside because I do know that's a rare stone. And I'll let you know what I find out about that one, okay? This looks like someone maybe made a necklace or started to. Nice cold beads. They do look like turquoise, but it's hard to tell. They would be very polished turquoise. Turquoise should test right about the glass range because it's a soft stone. But these are going up kind of into almost the, you know, the jade and spinel. I have never seen how light this have this many veins in it though. I don't know what this would be. They're gorgeous stones. Don't know, um, I'm just gonna sell this as a craft piece because it doesn't even have the other part on it. So I'll say, let's do 10 on this. I wish you could feel the beads. They are really heavy duty. Let's look at the drill holes. I mean, I would venture to say they're turquoise, but I can't be sure. It's such a hard stone to verify. So 10 on that piece, I'll put it over here. Okay, what's next? Another Indian piece with some beautiful amber color glass with some different stripes throughout, silver tone beads in between. Very pretty bracelet. Probably the bangle size of eight, and it is a little bit bigger than that. And I'll say six on that piece. That's a lot of pretty glass. Okay, next we have this. Oh, that's cool. This is one of those sliding clasps. And it looks like a bracelet. It is. Look at these beads. Okay, that looks like amethyst to me. It is. These are gemstones. Wow. So this is carnelian. This one, I don't know. It's going up to, um, in the, it's going in the quartz area, but it's white, see? This is smoky quartz. That one is amethyst. This one is glass and another carnelian. And not only that, but on this side too. All these real gemstones. Oh, look how dark that amethyst is. That's a beauty. Some more smoky quartz. Wow, that's beautiful. So this is what I call a trombone class. It should slide out, yeah. Slides out and in like this. This is beautiful with all that gemstone. Wow. Let's see if I can get a measurement. It's not easy type of bracelet but I will do my best because you need the right number okay come on baby you get all your gemstones down there with your bad self hmm so maybe I'll turn it sideways and then we'll let them all fall where they may I don't know. You know what? I'm going to open it up and measure it on my measuring tape because this is not working out on the cone. All right, carefully. And again, here's all those gemstones. Beautiful, right? This measures seven and a half inches. 
like all the way laid out straight. So now what did I do? Oh, there's a little bit of a magnet. So that must be what keeps it closed, is the little bit of magnet at the end. Okay, Sherry, you gotta get this back on. Oh man. I'm sorry guys, maybe I'll pause the camera. Oh, I think it's just sticking to the magnet. All right, slide this in, there it goes. Okay, there you go, gemstone bracelet. I'll say 15 on that, it's beautiful. Okay, next we have a seed bead. Wow, this is wild. So it looks like a lot of dangly, tassely seed beads on a nice chunky chain. Chain is in good condition. I wouldn't say excellent, but it's good. And then you've got this very fringy black seed bead necklace. That's cool. Certainly a very different look. Wow, look at this. That's wild. Wow, that would look great with a t-shirt in the summer or anything, really. So let's see if I can measure this. It's kind of rounded, 18 inches rounded, and then another four or five. So I would say probably 20 to 24 or five inches on this piece. And I'll say, let's do $6 on this. Okay. Oh, is this the matching necklace? <gasps> if this is, look how loaded with gemstones this is. Oh my goodness, it is the matching necklace. <gasps> wow. Okay, the chain is magnetic. But that bead ball is not. So again, I will just make sure that's carnelian. That is amethyst. Carnelian family again. Amethyst again, all the way around. Wow. I wonder if it's an older piece. Oh, look how beautiful that looks on the neck. I have to fiddle a little bit and get it to lay right. Just wonder if these... No. Okay. So now we have that. And it has its matching bracelet. So I could not see not getting both pieces. I mean, that's up to you, but... Are any earrings to match? We'll have to find out as we go along. But that's a lot of beautiful gemstone. I am going to say um, 45 on the necklace. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Okay, so lots of gemstone. It measures 16 inches. Beautiful trombone with the magnet. Wow, I'm so surprised at all that gemstone. That's so exciting. Now this earring, I know we have a pair now. But after the last video, I put them all in this bag. So I think we'll price the earrings at the end. It's just too much right now. And another dangly copper earring. I'm going to wait for your mate board. What is this? This is a beautiful hot pink enamel bracelet. It has that lifesaver clasp that is usually on pretty nice pieces. I'm not seeing a maker. It's really pretty. It has silver tone on the inside and on the chains and all the, the other pieces, silver tone. And I like how you can clasp it to a big loop so you're not you know, trying to find a little tiny link to clasp it to. It's chunky and it's substantial. It's sitting at a 
six and a half. This is a tough way to measure it because this takes up some room too. So I'll tell you how long. It's eight inches flat out, and it seems like a six and a half on the measure. Very cool. I love it. I'm going to say 12 on that. That is like an enamel piece that will last a long time. Okay. This... Says something in blue, Stein and Bly. Oh, that's cool. We've got a maker on there, brand new necklace. It's got beautiful, like bronzy, brass, gold tone. Looks like glass beads. They are. And we have something called, um, sorry, Stein and Bly. There's no price on it, so I have no idea, but it's a memory wire necklace, and it's new. So I'll say five on that one. Okay, rich box, right? Yeah, this is rich box. What a really different grab of jewelry today. This, wow, this looks amazing. What is this? It's gold tone with all this enamel. It has a lobster, not a lobster, I'm sorry, a barrel clasp. And it really looks gold. I don't think it is, but it looks it like it has a really nice plating. But let me see what I can find out on the class. It's in beautiful condition. Oh, wow, I don't know. Look how really gold it looks. No marks yet. And I'll try to show you the enamel. It's really fantastic. Doesn't that look old? That looks old to me. So let's see what we have. Lay it all out the right way. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. So, so different. Come on, tell me who made you. The details are really cool. All right, I gotta get this untwisted. to lay just right, I hope. Let's do up this, wow, the clasp, like, the clasp goes really nicely. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Let's see if I get this light closer. Lights are always our issue on YouTube, huh? I even have a new lamp out here today. So, mm. I really want you to see the enamel and the just the detail in this piece and then the next one. What is this? I mean, all that little tiny enamel work in there. This is the back. I'm going to have to spend a little time on this one, looking for a name, doing a Google search, because it looks really special. It really does. I'm wondering if you sort of pre-turn it, pre-turn it, is that a word? And then you twist it on so that it ends up, don't know. Okay, I'll try to take a picture really quick right now so I can come right back. Let's see if I can find anything on this. So Google Lens brings up all kinds of things. I have no idea what to make of it. It does look very old. Maybe it's brass or gold over. Just don't know. If you're in love with it and you want to make an offer, let me know. In the meantime, I'll try to keep researching. It does look special. 
it is um, 15 inches and sorry it's got to go in the research pile with that aquamarine piece just once in a while you just can't make a quick call on something sometimes you do and that's that all right looks like a silver tone two different necklaces yes so look we go from Givenchy pearls to a chain like this letter V does not appear to be sterling isn't that wild I mean that's the box the rich box so I'm not seeing any reason to sell it I think it could go in a craft jar I don't know maybe it is a logo for something it does look a little different but um, I'm just gonna put it aside I haven't started a new craft jar yet this is pretty I love this brushed gold tone on this chain that is in lovely condition and it comes down to it's all brushed gold tone both sides and we have a lovely piece of glass it's a smoky quartz color in fantastic condition it's 16 inches and another three inch extender beautiful soft gold tone necklace i'll say five on that piece Okay, this is another, I'm guessing that they're all Indian pieces because they don't have clasps and they're all tied. This matches exactly the bracelet, doesn't it? Let's see, where did I put that piece? I remember looking at some glass just like this. Yes, yes, so this does have the matching bracelet. So that's pretty. So we've already talked about this and priced that piece. And now we have the whole entire necklace. Again, lovely glass, beautiful amber color. It feels like good quality. And it's an over the head piece at 32 inches. So, wow, this is like our maybe fifth Indian jewelry set. Very pretty. I'll say 12 on the glass necklace. I can't remember what I said on the bracelet. Okay, now we have a very long necklace. Silver tone. It looks like it's on an older spring ring. It's on this type of chain that's, I don't know what they're called, but they're kind of squared off. Then, that doesn't have a kink. I thought it did. Um, acrylic yellow, some really pretty beads. I feel like we had a bracelet that went with this too. I know we did because I can remember this design and I remember those roses. So this had a bracelet somewhere along the line that matches. Silver tone chain. This is an older piece. It is 48 inches long. And I'm sure it can be doubled to be worn like this. It's lovely. Nice piece. I think I will say um, we'll do five on this and I will see if I can find the matching bracelet. I'm sure it's in one of our other episodes. Okay, maybe I took too much jewelry on this one. This is a little chain with a cute little black um, pendant type thing and a little feather. Faceted black piece, big clasp on it. Um, nothing to write home about. Maybe I should just put it aside. Maybe I'll put those in my wearable jewelry jars that I sell on eBay. That would be a nice piece for that because there's nothing wrong with it. And then I can put some other special pieces on top. Okay, this 
is another smaller, looks like an older spring ring. This does need the little balls. I like the chain. That's a pretty chain. It's a long chain too. Is it okay on the bottom? Doesn't seem like this should be on it. Yeah, it does. So that's a beautiful filigree sort of heart. It kind of almost looks like it's marked, but it's not. There's like two pieces sticking out where maybe that's how they made it. I don't know. It is a little bit magnetic. Chain isn't, but I can find out about that very quickly. I'll just take the side of it and probably won't even have to use a solution because if it's copper underneath, I'll see that very quickly. And it's brass underneath, I think. Hmm. Not sure. So the necklace chain is not magnetic. It would not be if it's over brass. I'm going to assume that's over brass. Okay, it's 30 inches long. And there's your heart. And I will say we'll do five on this. Okay, so that one's done. And I think we're done with rich box. So yay, now we get to see what's in the pour box next. So I'll move all this stuff aside. Those two are gonna be researched. And I will go get the pour box and we'll see what we've got in that. But before I do, if you are seeing anything you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the video name, the episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show on the video, a brief description of the pieces you love and the prices given. Send me your email right away because I do answer them in the order they're received. So even if I can't get to my email for a day or sometimes even two days, which is very rare, but if I don't get to my email, I'm still answering them in the order received. So you always want to get yours in before the next person if you really want that item. All right, so there goes Rich Box, and here comes some items from Poor Box. I'll try to move quick on this because we do want to get this done in hopefully one more episode after this one. If these pieces are big and chunky. Think that's a good pile. They are bigger pieces, so I'm gonna grab another few. Okay, lovely. All right, poor box, what have you got for us? We have a very cold glass beaded bracelet. The stretch is great. Looks like a spackly, sprinkly type of paint over some white glass. And these are glass faceted too. So really pretty. It would go with red and orange. And again, the stretch is good. We'll say, uh, we'll do $4 on that glass piece. I'm gonna put these with rich box and make sure I keep them aside. Okay. Now, what are you? Oh, this is cute. Hey Jen, if you're watching. You would love this. You love these big bracelets like this, and it looks so cute on you. This feels like that nice vintage, you know, therm not thermoset, but acrylic. There's no seams in it. It's cute. The stretch is great. Love that. It's so cute. So I'll say three on that one. This is pretty. It's marbly, and it has silver tone like enamel paint on it, but not like enameling. There's a little seam there. It's a salmon color, marbly bracelet. Probably sits at about eight, yes. And I'll say two on that. Next we have 
Oh, another cute vintage beaded necklace. It looks like amber, but it's not. And it has little white beads as well. Isn't that so cute? It's also kind of marbly. And, hmm. Feels like nice heavy beads, but they're not glass. And the gold tone um, clasp is in great shape. So that's cute, right? It's got a little bit of red swirl in the yellow and then the white beads. And it's a little 16 inch necklace. And I'll say three on that piece. I'm gonna make sure we're on poor box. And we've got Buster nearby. Oh, might be lots of bracelets. This is a blue bracelet, pretty heavy. The stretch, oh yeah. The stretch is a little scary. It just doesn't come back as springy. A little tassel on it, really cold. I think they're probably white glass with paint over them. So I really do need to start a craft cup. Um, why don't I say a dollar on this and we'll see what happens. Okay, now we have another one of these cuties, older spring ring acrylic. This is more like a, a hot pink color. It's coming up a little orange on the camera, but it's a true like hot pink. It is 24 inches and I'll just say a dollar on that one. We have a green bangle, has a little bit of shape and form to it nice like between a lime and a hunter green measures almost eight inches we'll do two dollars on that if i say a dollar on any of the items um they have to be with another purchase okay because the one dollar items are just really hard to process by themselves this is pretty it a b coated they are acrylic and silver tone. It's a nice looking necklace. Again, not glass, but acrylic. But you certainly have the look of glass. With the silver tone beads in between. Lobster clasp measures 18 inches with a two inch extender. And we'll do $3 on that piece. Okay, now we have a seed bead piece that is, oh, I don't know. They kind of tightly wound it, so it's kind of a little wonky. I don't think it's gonna like sit on someone's neck the right way because it's tightly wound. So we'll put that as a craft item. This, that's a pretty color. Nothing wrong with that. Cute little glass beads. Maybe I'll do a lot. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we had another one of these too. So faux stone, almost like a jelly bean bracelet. Let's put that with this one. Except the last time I did a lot, nobody bought it. So I wonder if you want the pieces individually. This is purple glass. It has a lot of stuff it says on it. It's got some faceted beads, purple hearts, gold tone beads in between. And it says, oh, I don't know. It's in a different language. Yeah, it's in another language, I think. So I'm not sure about that. I'm going to put it in that pile. Next. Oh, that's wild. That's a cool shape. Don't see any seams. So this might be, um, you know, like a thermoset or something. This has got a really good texture to it. Really smooth, and I love the shape. It's at seven and a half, and we'll do three dollars on that. That's cute. Next is, whoa, what is this? 
Okay, this says stainless steel. And it's got this symbol on it. Oh, that's Tory Birch. This is a Tory Birch piece. I wonder what goes in here. Because it opens up right there. Wow. Okay. Tory Birch. Let's see what this okay, is. Okay, so it is a Tory Birch. It is a Fitbit sports bracelet. Um, it is sitting right now at like a six and a quarter, but it opens by pushing this and then this opens up this way. So I don't want to undo it too much because I won't know how to put it back. But it snaps right back into place like that. It's in great condition and they sell from $89 to $100. So not bad, poor box. Not bad at all. Everything works great. It looks never worn. There's your strap here. And I am going to say we'll just do 40 on it. So just $40 on the Tory Birch. Let me know if you like that. Not bad, Mr. Porbox at all. This is a very cool Bakelite looking bracelet. It's a swirly, butterscotchy, with little gold tone bead balls set into it. This looks very large. It went right off the thing. So this is nine inches or more. And I'll say $3 on that piece. What is this? Okay, this looks like inlay of some sort. Wow, I wonder if that is real, like spiny oyster and things. Or if it's just made to look like it. I wouldn't really test, but if you look at it closely, doesn't that look like all shell? Maybe dyed shell? I don't know. The inside's worn down to brass. It used to be silver tone. But that looks really cool. Okay, this measures over nine inches as well. I don't know what to say about that. I guess I'll say five on that. Because I don't know if it's a junk or if it's really cool. Don't know. Next we have this little guy. It's just a little black bangle. Put it in that pile. And this, oh, this looks pretty. Gold tone chain. It is signed. This is a fossil. So beautiful fossil. Bow tortoise shell with gold beads in between. Then some gold tone barrel beads. And this lovely turquoise color. I'm trying to think what we had that was, oh, it was another necklace. Okay, never mind. So a fossil necklace, beautiful gold tone. Not really worn. It looks like this on the neck with the, I'm sorry, with the tortoise shell. And then, oh, I can't wait to have a camera that can show you that nice tall neck so I can put the pieces on it. We're almost there with that, guys. Then the gold tone and the beautiful turquoise color. And this looks long enough that it could be doubled. And that is so cute. So Fossil Brand, that's a nice brand. It's a 28 inch necklace. And on the Fossil, this could probably be a bracelet too, right? I'll say $12 on that. Okay, moving along. What's next? This is all glass, I think. Has this darker metal, big lobster clasp. Oh, I don't know what these are. Interesting. Maybe they are stones. They test up in the glass. Don't know what to make of it. It's kind of cool. It's like clusters 
and then beads on this sort of primitive chain, but it's got the lobster clasp, and then it looks like this. That's cute. That is very cute. I would say it's glass, maybe painted glass. And I would say on this one, let's measure it first. It is uh, about 17 inches and we'll do $3 on that piece. Okay, now faux pearls, very simple with the spring ring. I'll put that in that pile. And then I love this color, this necklace, that's cute, look at how sparkly that is, that is acrylic, there's your older clasp, oh I thought I was going to put this in that pile, but I do like this piece, that's a beautiful color, it measures 23 inches, yeah I like that. And I'll say five on that. It's pretty. I think we had a red one that was like that too. This, mm, this feels nice and cold. Red hearts, glass, some more art glass, some clear beads with a toggle clasp. So that's a pretty little bracelet. It's not sticking to the magnet, but it doesn't appear to be sterling. It just has a lighter, like, um, almost aluminum color to it. Measures seven inches, and I'll say four dollars on the glass heart bracelet. Okay, next is, ooh, black faceted glass. This is nice. Gold tone spring ring. I'm trying to get it nice and clear in the camera. Black faceted glass with little beads in between. Oh gosh, guys, I might have to keep this one. That is beautiful. I have another one that's about maybe 18 inches. So and I never have anything to wear with it. Like I do layer it with other things, but this would be beautiful with it. And I have been thinking, you know, Sherry, once in a while you have to keep, and this is faceted glass that's graduated. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be a catch and release. And I'll see how it goes. It's a 30-inch necklace, and I'll let you know when I release it, but that's so pretty. Yeah, I think I should treat myself to that one at least. Ooh, we have another bracelet just like the other one. So like a butterscotch swirly with the gold tone. And if you like that one, I'll just add that one as well for the same price as that one was. Coconut shell on green cording. Beautiful unused condition. And in between, there's swirly acrylic beads. So just a nice long piece. The last one I thought might be a belt, and I think this one is too. So a cute coconut shell belt with like an army green color tie to it. And we'll do that for $2. Now, I wish I knew more about these. I think they're called Hishi beads. They are so interesting. So you've got the barrel clasp and the brown color beads, and then they come down to this blue coral. So this one does have some blue coral and some brass beads and looks like maybe shell, I'm not sure. But it's cool. I do like that blue coral. I'll say $2 on that one. This one, I almost didn't bring it out. I thought, well, 
that's just little tiny plastic beads. But when I saw the clasp, I couldn't stand it. Look at this. It's so cute. I'm sorry. It's just adorable. Look at that piece. Come on. How fun would that be to wear? I mean, I just think it would be fun. I love wearing the old stuff that just looks so different. You can wear it this way. I, I mean, okay. If you don't like it, you won't email me. But if you do, you will. Because this is so cute. It's just adorable. It's got almost a light, light blue, medium blue, periwinkle. It's got like four different blues, but that, that clasp is too much. And it's 16 inches. And I'm going to say, I'm going to do $7 on that. It's a riot. Love it, love it. This shell necklace is stunning. Okay, let's see. You have a name. You do. You do have a name. It says... I don't know. Looks like Julia. I don't know if that's a B. I don't know. What do you guys think that says? It looks like a copper color chain. A little bit twisted up here. And I like that little finishing touch. And then you've got all this beautiful shell that's woven in between with this white thread. And it's the threads, this part is really clean. It does have a little bit of color here from the metal. So it does need a little bit of cleaning, but the shells are beautiful. Oh no, it's broken right here. Look at the colors in that though. Isn't that stunning? Oh man. Well, someone can take all of these shells and make lots of beautiful pieces. So I'm going to sell this as a craft piece for $4. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. So $4 on that as a craft. Now we've got this. This feels substantial. Oh, and look, it has this cute older clasp. Really old box clasp. And I think the other part is here. Let's see. It sure is. So that comes out. I don't know if it comes all the way out. I don't want to force it. But you do have the clasp there. And it looks like it needs to be tied back in there. So that's an easy fix. But it's a red, white, and blue vintage necklace made of that, you know, that really substantial kind of um, acrylic again. Or some of it's lightweight. This is not lightweight. This is that heavier weight. Um, it looks knotted in between. It is. It's all knotted in between. And again, it has that adorable clasp on it. Not signed, but that's an oldie and really long. It is probably 50, 56 inches long. So it just needs a little fix. And I'll say $6 on that piece. Cutie. And a purple statement necklace. Is it all together? Silver tone chain. So I think I want to stop a minute and talk about rich box, poor box, because in this video, I am feeling the stress of a lot of, you know, lower value pieces and going through them and that people are going to get bored with the video. To me, that's what the, the lesser boxes bring to me. So I don't really like to buy them. Yes, you can buy them and you can find gold and different things in them, but there's a lot of other jewelry to deal with. And I don't want anyone to get bored with my channel. So I hope you're hanging in there with me as we finish looking through this 
poor box. And as I price things that probably I wouldn't have even brought on camera. But this is a statement necklace in purple. It does have, like it needs cleaning or something. So I'm going to put that in my bigger craft lots. Now, last but not least, a very adorable red beaded bracelet. I feel like we had a necklace that that might have gone with. I'll say two on that. And then looks to me like we have genuine malachite bracelet. The stretch is kind of tight, and I don't know what's up with the eyes, but that's cute. Is it malachite? It really does look it, doesn't it? Hmm. Let me see what Miss Prissy says. I think malachite is a little bit softer stone. Not sure. Um, I'll say we'll do six on this one. Okay, so now we got all of the pour box done on this episode. We found some Tory Birch. We found some other pieces. Oh, I was going to go ahead and put these as a little lot or start a craft jar. Let me see how much time I've used. I was going to see if maybe I could do a craft jar really quick, but I think we've run out of time. So I'm going to lot these up, these different bracelets and these beads, this bangle, this faux pearl set, this faux stone, and these beads. And we'll do this bag for, we'll just do $3 on this bag, okay? And then, remember, this is a a craft piece for five so I gotta do my hands so I'll put this in another bag too and then I'll work on my thumbnail okay everyone thanks so much for joining me I've got my thumbnail ready my picture taken all the poor box stuff on this side rich box on this side so make sure you let me know which box you think won this round we have one more round to go so we'll see what's in the bottom of the boxes because I think Good things might fall to the bottom. So before I go, I will remind you how to purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. You can take a screenshot of this so you can have the instructions on how to purchase. Or you can go to the video description and find them in there as well. Along with links to some of my favorite things that I use while recording. Links to things on Amazon that you can purchase that I recommend or that I use. And you will not be charged anymore if you use those Amazon links to purchase some of those things. But Amazon will give me a little tiny little thank you for sending you. So there you go, there's your instructions on how to purchase. I'm all set with this video, but if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider that. I'd love to know if you're a new subscriber and if you've been around for a while, I always love hearing from you just as much as day number one. So thank you all so much. Give a like on the way out, okay? It really does help support the channel. Thank you, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye!